Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is November 6th, 2022. And thank you for stopping by, and I hope everyone is feeling fantastic and in excellent health, okay? I would like to speak to you about something very important today. I would like to discuss a new study that was recently published which shed some light on the best exercise regimen for people over 65 for longevity purposes, okay? So without further delay, let's jump into it. You're going to like this. This is an interesting study. And uh, let me begin with something else, though. In 2016, researchers considered exercise as a supplement for treating diseases and improving health span as you got older. Okay? However, in this same 2016 study that I'm showing on the screen, they stated the following. Okay? The characteristics of exercise, which includes intensity, duration, frequency, the type of exercise for extending lifespan, lifespan are far from clear. In other words, they were unsure how hard, how long, how many times per week, and what type of exercise was best, was best for extending longevity, particularly for older people. This was in 2016. Now let's jump to the present to, to determine if scientists have made any progress in this exercise for longevity mystery puzzle. In this October 17, 2022 study that, that I'm showing right now was published in JAMA. Researchers scrutinized survey results from about 115,000 people, about 75,000 women and 45,000 men between the age of 65 and 74 to determine the intensity, duration, frequency, type of exercise that would be best to live a longer and healthy life. Okay? The study participants responded to a questionnaire concerning the levels of strengthening, strengthening and aerobic exercises they were using. Okay? It was like a survey. How many times a week they exercised and the length of each session. That's what they responded to. The, particip the participants were monitored for 7.9 years while the researchers analyzed the relationship between levels of strength training, aerobic exercise, and mortality. This is after controlling for other potential cause and effect factors that may have made the study results less accurate. Confounding factors, they're called. Uh, this included things like uh, uh, the, the gender, sex, age, race, um, education, smoking, uh, alcohol uh, habits, um, and the presence of disease, among others. That's just to name a few. They, they, they tried to make the study as accurate as possible. The study found that both aerobic and strength exercise was associated with reduced mortality compared to being inactive, like sedentary. You don't do nothing. It was better to exercise for longevity. The researchers also detected that aerobic exercise show low mortality with more minutes spent doing the activity. So the longer you did aerobic act activity, the better it was for longevity. For example, 10 to 149 minutes of aerobic exercise per week yielded a 17% reduction in mortality <clears throat> compared to less than 10 minutes per week. Okay? While over 300 minutes a week of aerobic exercise resulted in a 32% reduction in mortality. That's a bigger jump. Okay? <clears throat> now, as, as for strength training, they discovered this type of exercise done four to six times per week resulted in a 21% reduction in mortality. Okay? However, they noticed that seven to 28 strength workouts per week only resulted in a 2% Reduction. The more strength workouts you did, the worse it was for your body, for longevity. But the best results in this study were found in the people who partook in both aerobic and strength training in combination. To be exact, the best results were found let's cap, at four to six sessions per week, totaling between 150 and 300 minutes. This was associated with a 42% reduction in mortality. That's a 
big jump. You see the highlighted parts in the, in, in the document I just posted on the video so you can see yourself. You can find this chart in the study as a reference uh, in, the, in the figures and tables section. In the study, the link is below. Um, so what's my take on, the, on this study? Uh, this study confirms, first of all, that strength training and aerobic exercise, or a combination of both, are apparently valuable for hence health span and longevity. That, that's nothing new. I mean, that's known. What I find peculiar is that they claim that if someone strength trains to 7 to 28 times per week, there was only 2% reduction in mortality. I'm trying to figure out what person over 65 would even dare to do strength training 28 times a week. That, that, that makes no sense uh, to me. Uh, uh, that, that would be uh, detrimental for even for a younger guy. That, that's overtraining. So I, I don't understand that part. Um, but this is interesting. According to Peter Atiyah, PhD, an exercise that increases your cardiorespiratory fitness, which is like aerobic, will give you a five-fold reduction in all-cause mortality. That's, that's good, right? And strength training will give you a three-fold reduction in all-cause mortality. And let me emphasize, there is no longevity supplement in existence that can do this. NMN, Facetin, Resveratrol, none of that. If you want to see Peter Atiyah's interview clip, the link of the video clip is in the description below if you wish to look at it. It's very interesting. You will love it. Okay. In a nutshell, according to this new study, anyone over 65 should attempt aerobic exercise together with strength training for at least 300 minutes per week. Not 150, like, like you've been told in, by the CDC and all these other places. 300. Divided into four to six sessions to get the most effective results for increasing longevity. Okay? I'm aware that 300 minutes of exercise per week is a burden for many older people. But I definitely tend to agree with this. Okay? Exercise should be like a, a job, a habit, an investment, a purpose. And you need to push yourself if you truly desire to live longer and healthier. you got to work for it. It's not that simple. You have to work for it. Most people can easily find 45 minutes per day four times per week to exercise. They can do this. You must want to do it. So go for it. Yeah, I do it. Thank you for watching. I hope the information helped you in some way or will help you in some way. If you find it interesting, do click the like button and subscribe if you have not done so. Okay, because more longevity news will be coming on a regular here. Okay, I, I, I'm going to bring you a lot of information on, on how to live longer, healthier. Have a great day and see you in my next video. As always, stay healthy. Let's get to 100 plus, 120. Stay young. See you soon. Have a good day.